Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about how we can change DNA and how you can take what used to be DNA of one type and then can turn into something very different that can really change this whole process we've been learning about. So what I want you guys to be able to do with this lesson is I want you to be able to take a DNA molecule and show how mutations are able to change the protein that was previously been created. So to do that, you have to do a couple of things. First, you need to be able to create mutations in the DNA sequence, and then you need to show how those changes are going to affect the proteins. You're going to need to also use some of the key terms in your explanation. You should be able to create a couple types of mutations, a substitution mutation, an insertion mutation, and a deletion mutation. And you should show me how the proteins are being changed in it. And again, use key terms the right way. And here are your key terms, just in case you forgot. So, what are mutations? Well, mutations are just basically a fancy way of saying it's a change in the DNA. Example, let's say you have the situation of AACCGG. Let's say that a mutation takes place and now you have ATCCGG. Well, as you can tell, because hopefully you can read, What's happened here is, is that the AA has turned into AT. Now, mutations can change the DNA, which hopefully by now you understand, a change in the DNA will cause to lead to a change in the proteins. So, sorry, unfortunately, as you see in the movies, mutations will not cause you to become like the X-Men, which would be awesome, but it's never going to happen. Now, this little picture over here shows you an example of mutation. You see all these green fruits. I have no idea what these are called, so sorry if I can't tell you. But here you see all these green fruits. Well, there was a mutation, and this mutation turned, all the, turned a green fruit into a yellow fruit. So you can see how mutation can actually cause a change in color in a plant. So what are the types of mutations out there? Well, the first one is called a substitution. This is basically changing one base to another. So in this case, you see you have on this group over here, you have A, G, T, C, G, A. A base substitution would be changing one letter to another. So rather than having C, G, A here, the C gets turned into an A. That's an example of a substitution. There is an insertion. An insertion makes sense if you know what insert means. It means you're going to add a base. If you can see right here, they added a T in here, and that totally changed the whole thing because now the codons have all shifted down to the right one. And a deletion is the opposite. A deletion is when you remove one of the bases. And that's it. Those are your three basic types of mutations that can exist. Now, the thing is, is that some mutations can really screw things up. So, an insertion or deletion is going to move everything to the left or the right. So if you see this sequence of DNA up here, it's you get um, THR, ARG, THR, ALA, and TYR as your normal translation. These are your normal amino acids. But if you have an added allele in there, if you get, sorry, you get added base in there, like this right here, if you remove the A, which is the very beginning, well, all of a sudden, everything's changed. You went from having THR in the beginning to ARG. You went from having glycine to arginine. You see how everything has totally changed in the protein by inserting an extra, an extra, you know, an extra base. Same is also true in the other direction. If you are going to delete one of the letters, it's going to change the entire amino acid. Frame shift mutations are very, very bad because they can totally destroy a protein. And as a result, frame shift mutations are almost always going to destroy an enzyme and make it no longer work anymore. So they can be really bad. But sometimes they can be good, but normally a frame shift mutation causes so much change that the body just never recovers from it. And like I said, it usually kills it. It usually kills the cell. So like, how do mutations affect genes? Well, a change in one amino acid is going to cause a complete situation. So if you change one amino acid, due to mutation, this can really screw things up. It can cause the protein to do something totally different, or it can completely destroy the protein. 
if you change all the amino acids, as you would see like in a frame shift mutation, well, the gene's done. The gene's not going to work anymore. And you guys have lots of these. We all do. Most of us have hundreds of genes for smell, to smell different things. But most of those genes have been turned off. When I say turned off, what I really mean is, is that a mutation killed the gene. And it killed the gene by making it no longer work anymore. Um, however, there is one situation you need to know about here, and that is a substitution can do nothing at all. It's possible because some of the genetic code is what we call redundant, which means it means that it does the same thing. So for example, if you have ACA and that A here gets turned into a G, nothing happens. Because ACA and ACG, those codons both code for the amino acid theronanine. So there's no change. It's possible to have a mutation that does nothing. And just more on the situation here, an example of a mutant cat. That cat looks crazy, but you know, mutants and all that. Okay, so what can cause mutations? How, if we want to become like the X-Men and, you know, die of cancer, I guess, how can we do this? Well, there's a couple of ways. The main way is through something we call a mutagen. A mutagen is basically going to cause lots of cancer, and sorry, lots of mutations. And they're usually really bad because they lead to cancer in the long run. Because cancer is actually caused by mutations. The mutations in your cells turn off proteins and turn off genes, and eventually it's going to kill you. And that's not good. Because most mutations are harmful. And some of them can be helpful, but in general, a mutation is going to be very damaging. Um, some examples of mutagens are things like UV radiation. So ladies, I know here in China it's really popular not to get a suntan. Well, now you have a reason. If you go out in the sun and your skin gets darker, your chance of getting cancer increases a lot because the sun actually can be a mutagen. Um, another example will be x-rays. If you go to the doctor and they x-ray you, if you get too many x-rays, that can cause mutations and cancer. Other things are smoking, obviously a bad thing. Smoking has lots and lots of mutagens in it. Um, nitrates and preservatives and things like hot dogs and other preserved meats, they, those things can cause cancer, those can cause mutations. Um, barbecuing your food, unfortunately, because God hates us sometimes, means that we can cause mutations. Um, benzoyl peroxide, which for ladies, if you like your facial masks and all that, that can be a mutagen too, sorry. And some diseases like HPV and Heliobacter pylori, both of these are able to cause mutations as well through mutagens. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you understand what mutations are and how they work, and thank you for watching.